Hi, it's Fiona Masterson from the Learning Reservoir. In this short video, I'm going to take you through some essential KPIs that you should have in place in order to monitor the effectiveness of your Kappa system. So what is a KPI? Well, a KPI is a measurable way of tracking something towards a particular goal or objective. And it's very important to have KPIs in place in order to monitor the performance of whatever you are monitoring. In our case, we're looking at the CAPA system, the corrective action, preventive action CAPA system. We need to have KPIs in place to ensure that our CAPA system is working. And having KPIs in place is a quick way of being able to check if your system is working or not. And in a medical device company, the CAPA program is fundamental to the functioning of your quality management system. Therefore, you really need to have CAPA KPIs in place in order to track it, to make sure it's in compliance with regulatory requirements, that ensuring that issues are not being overlooked, that any issues that occur are dealt with a, uh, quickly and efficiently, because ultimately we want to ensure that our product is safe uh, for use and it's, that it meets customer expectations. So what type of KPIs can you have in place? Well, one KPI that I'd recommend that you have is that you'd be tracking the number of open kappas. So this KPI measures the number of kappas that have been raised but not yet closed. So how many kappas do you have actually open? In a small company, you might have two or three kappas open at any one time. Um, in a large company with uh, multiple sites, you might have over 100 kappas open. But you need to know how many kappas are open. If you have, a, if your number of kappas is, is increasing that KPI, that might indicate that you have a backlog of quality issues. And a high number of uh, open kappas means you you could have issues, as I said. Another KPI that you should look at is the average time to uh, CAPA closure. In this KPI, you are tracking how long it, it is taking to um, close that KPI, how long is it taking to investigate the issue, identifying the root causes, put upon, putting uh, effective fixes in place and verifying those fixes and then monitoring them. And then that is when you can close your CAPA. If you have taken a long time to, to close your CAPAs, that should be a red flag. That means something can be could be going wrong in your CAPA process. And you don't want to have CAPAs open for a long time because they were opened as a result of a quality issue. Therefore, you need to be addressing that uh, quality issue in a very timely manner. Another KPI could be the tracking number of overdue CAPAs. So when you open a CAPA, you should set a closure date for, the, for that CAPA. So in other words, you need to um, ensure that you know when you want to have this CAPA closed by. Um, you should view CAPAs as mini projects. So if you start a project, you need to have a start date and a proposed end date for that project. And that's the same for CAPAs. Therefore, you should also be tracking um, CAPAs that pass their due date. And if you have a lot of overdue CAPAs, that would be very concerning because you had set an original due date for a reason, a good reason, and therefore why have you passed that due date? And therefore, if it, there's a lot high number of open overdue CAPAs, a company should, should action those overdue CAPAs. They should give them more resources to um, ensure that those CAPAs are uh, closed out quickly. KPI of uh, kappa would another kpi would be the kappa aging so the measured time to close kappa so for your kappas that are that are being closed how long is it taking you to close them so it measures the duration between the date of the cap initiation and the date of closure and it's an important one again because you want to be closing your kappas as quickly as possible obviously you don't uh, close them unless you've done all the work as required for the kappa but you still want to have an efficient system so you want to ensure that your kappas are not open for a, a very long period um, and if you notice that your kappas are taking a very long time to to close out therefore again you might need to put more resources on those kappas you might try to figure out what's going on why is it taking long, for example, to get to the root cause of the problem? Perhaps um, people in your organization 
don't have the right problem solving skills to know how to do that and, and so on so why so that is a kpi that should be monitored and addressed if it goes off track clap quarter rate is another kpi that's important so that measures the percentage of capitals that have been closed within the specified time period Time frame. So a higher capital closure rate indicates that the cap system is effective. So if you're you're closing out your capas within a timely uh, uh, time in, in the correct time frame, therefore that's a, that's a positive. You also need to track uh, to track repeat cap rate. This is a very important one. This is where we're measuring have cap has been reopened or required. A repeat action due to the initial action being be, being ineffective. Here is the case where you had a kappa, you worked on it, then it's been closed out, and then the issue reoccurs, and therefore you have to reopen the kappa or open a new one. Now, these this is very problematic if you have a high number of repeat kappas. That means that your kappa system is not working. Why is it not working? Did you not get to the root cause of the problem in the original kappa? Were the fixes that were put in place not um, adequate. How about the monitoring effectiveness of the kappa? Kappas cannot be closed until the effectiveness of the corrective actions are monitored. If you've closed the kappa, you therefore, it indicates you have monitored the effectiveness of the kappa. Well, what went wrong there? Because you have to reopen a kappa or raise another kappa. Um, and that concludes this short video where I uh, highlighted to you some important KPIs that you should use to monitor your uh, Kappa system. Uh, thanks for watching. If you found this beneficial, please uh, give us a like and subscribe to our channel where you will find a similar content.